Well, hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove your air cleaner assembly on an LS4. So this is your air cleaner assembly, this entire box here, and uh, basically just routes air in through the filter and then down to your intake. Fairly simple to get off, um, and so we can go ahead and get started now. Alright, so the very, very first thing before you start this project, so important, disconnect your battery. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of this cross frame support here. There's two 10 millimeter uh, bolts here on the left side or the front, and then there's one at the back. And uh, then that should remove this support. Alright, so I do want to note that you'll look and you'll see these three bolts here are actually different sizes. The two for the front, these two small ones are actually for the front. And then the, the one that's in the rear is this long one. So just make sure that when you're putting this back together, you know that the big one or the long one here actually goes to the back. Uh, whereas the, uh, the two small ones actually go to the front. Alright, so before you can get the uh, support away the uh, there's a little like a hook here I don't even know what these are called it doesn't really matter but anyway it's attached to the bar so mine just happens to be loose anyway but if you look real close here there's actually a way to connect it if you slide the two pieces apart like this then it'll open up and then you can obviously get rid, get rid of the, um, uh, the support all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start disconnecting some of the stuff here. Uh, the first thing that we're going to go ahead and the first thing we're going to go ahead and disconnect is our um, uh, PCB valve, and there's on the back side here there's a little um, uh, like a handle on the back here. Just pull it towards you, and it'll disconnect. See the handle right there? Just put that aside. And then for uh, the map sensor, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take this um, gray plastic stop off. And using pliers is actually probably the safest way to do it. And it should come right out just like that. Okay. And then what you can do is you can get a flat blade screwdriver. And you stick it right down in here and that puts or releases the tension and uh, then you can see what it looks like on the inside um, so that's how you get that now what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be getting a plastic bag and uh, I'm going to be putting it over the top of this so that no dust or dirt or anything else can actually get in there alright so I've sealed that off the best that I can now I'm going to turn my attention towards uh, the intake uh, clamp that's right here. Five blade screwdriver to loosen that up. Don't have to go too far with it. And then you should be able to take the intake and pull it towards you like so. Now you got these two um, clips here. Go ahead and pull them. And with that out of the way, you can go ahead and get the inside portion of the intake out. Alright, so now it's out and good time to go ahead and inspect that. Maybe clean your sensor out a little bit. Uh, everything looks actually pretty clean to me. Just inspect the inside. And uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put this in my trunk because I am pulling the motor. I want to make sure that nothing gets in here. I'm going to get a bag Put it around with a rubber band, maybe even use the clamp, just to keep that totally sealed off. And uh, so anyway, now we can go ahead and pull the filter. Filter is off and out. And with the filter off and out, and the entire front portion of the housing out, we can go ahead and get the rest of this off. 
So if you look down here, you'll see that you have these plastic retaining tabs here. Uh, there's two on the left side, and then you've got two on the right side. They're hard to see from this angle, but you just push those in or depress them. And what that's going to do is that's going to lift the top portion of the entire housing off. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, got mine released. That's what it looks like, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting the pieces back together off the car, and uh, at a later date I'm going to clean this out. This will be a good chance to actually clean all this crap out while you can, if you're putting the original back. You can see how dirty it is in here. It doesn't hurt to clean it out, um, but I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together because I'm going to be using this at a later date, but... If you were going to be installing an aftermarket um, system, then you'd be able to discard these, at least this part here. And down here you can actually see your transmission control unit as well as the ECM. They keep that down here to bring cold air in, keep it nice and cool, keep it out of the elements as well. I would like to add that this is a perfect opportunity for you to cover up your intake you can see that the butterfly is open a little bit so to keep dust and dirt anything else out of here um, especially if you're gonna have this out for extended period of time put something over there to make sure you keep the dust out now then if you are actually gonna be installing an aftermarket intake then you probably won't need any of this although I know some people actually keep those but um, if you need to remove the uh, ECM transmission control module, uh, it's actually fairly easy to do. Um, this unit just slides right out just like that. And then there's uh, these um, retaining clips that are here. They're plastic. You see one right there. I already released one of them. But you just release that and then everything should come right out All right. so basically what you do is you just pull up on the bottom unit um, it's being held in by um, so I don't know what it's called but anyway it's being held in by um, a little uh, plunger that's down here that's what we'll call it not really good at the scientific names but anyway just pull it up towards you there it is right there. You can see that's what's holding it in. And go ahead and set that aside. And then gently set your control modules down. Um, so, all right. So that's all set. All the old hardware is now away. If you were installing an aftermarket system, you'd basically be able to get started now. Uh, and uh, for my particular project, removing the engine transmission, this definitely uh, makes for more room. So, alright, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. And uh, take care. Okay, so you can see here that I have the assembly apart. Now, again, if you're just replacing a few parts or you're just bringing this off temporarily, you probably don't have to do this. But the thing that I'm most concerned about is that... Uh, map sensor. I want to make sure that no dust and dirt and so on just goes in there. I mean, that's that. That's why they have a filter in here. So, I've got the filter inside, and just for good measure, I went ahead and plugged the uh, uh, harness hole and then the intake hole, and of course, I plugged the um, the main intake where the map sensor is, and that's just to keep anything that could possibly get in out. So, uh, because I'm going to be pulling the motor on my car, this is probably not going to go back in for a while, so I wanted to make sure that the map sensor stays nice and clean.